Hey guys, Steve here, and welcome to another Minecraft mod show. So today, guys, we're unfortunately using a Steve skin because uh, apparently my skin's not loaded. I think my internet might not be on currently. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But yeah, we're using a Steve skin to record this mod showcase day. And this, is, ironically, it's a good mod showcase, and I'm glad that we're Steve because we're taking a throwback today. This mod is in 1.11.2 currently, and I have no doubt that we'll eventually update to 1.12. However... Uh, you're probably already guessing what the mod is, d considering what's behind me. Guys, we're viewing the Aether 2 mod today, a mod that has been in 1.7.10 uh, for the longest time, but it, it finally has updated to the newer versions of Minecraft, so our prayers have been answered, guys. We actually have a... I mean... Try, try to take this as little offense if you're a mod creator as possible, but we finally have a decent mod updated to the new versions of Minecraft. And I say that because, like, we have all the tech mods in the newer versions. We have all, like, the the, the very small mods like Lucky Blocks and, uh, what else, like, trophy-style mods and stuff. But, like, the bigger adventure-style mods that we all know and love from 1.7.10, you know, like, or Spot Twilight Forest, Super Heroes, you know, the ones that are never going to update. Yeah, well, the Aether used to be one of those, and now it has updated, so it no longer is one of those, so that's a good thing. So now we can finally explore this th this mod for what it is now, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I only just went through the portal to generate to see if it was working properly. I didn't explore much, so today... It's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to do what I normally do, which is I have all these chests lined up with all the items from the mod, and we show off all the items. Today, we're just going to be flying around the dimension, and anything new that we find in terms of a mob or something, we'll kill with our sword and see what it drops. And um, other than that, we're just going to explore what it looks like now. I've already played the Aether 2 before in the past, like I said before it updates, so I know a few things about it, so I can explain that. Starting off, however, before, actually, no, before we start off, guys, if if you're pumped for this mod showcase, hit that like button to show your support, and also subscribe channel if you are new and uh yeah so let, let's first show off the fact that we have this thing up here called equipment all the way at the top of your screen if you click that you have all these different interfaces now that you can work with you have all these different items you can wear that you can pick up in dungeons in the aether that make your guy a little bit stronger and stuff give you cool abilities honestly it, it's it's a good thing we have all these cool abilities. Um, there's another thing that's like the report, report bugs section if you want to report any bugs to them. I guess that's what that's used for. And the backpack is what I'm currently in right now, which is the normal inventory. However, I will be in creative mode the whole time I'm doing this, just so I do not actually die. Uh, also, a little bit of an announcement, but if you guys don't know, I am off school right now. Like, if you guys don't know, I am in college, but uh, I'm currently off for, I guess, what you would call either fall break or Thanksgiving break, depending on how you would look at it. But yeah, so... I'm off for this entire week, so expect the videos to maybe not go up at their normal recorded schedule, because as you guys know, I normally upload a video every day on at 3 o'clock p.m. EST and 5 o'clock p.m. EST. So, I'm going to keep that the same as the best I can. It's just if I'm off in the times slightly, then I apologize, but I'm going to try to get them up at the same time as usual, because as you guys know, normally I have them all pre-recorded, and right now I'm actually recording them every day again, so it's like summer all over again, but this is only for a week, so don't get too used to it, guys. Also, I'm going to try to get three videos out a day, no promises, but I'm going to try my hardest to get three videos out a day. That way, like, I know for sure today I'm probably going to be able to do it, but, uh, I'm going to try to get three videos out a day, that way I will be able to, uh... I don't know. Keep you guys, keep you guys more interested because I know currently, um, it, it's been like the same, the same things over and over and over again, and you guys are probably starting to get sick of the fact that I've only been having the same series. I mean, we did just start the Pixelmon series up, but oh, that's another thing about. Uh, I'll talk about that in a in a later video. I don't want, I don't want to talk about it in this video, but um, expect good things from Pixelmon this week also. If you guys, if you guys are enjoying that series. Um, what else? What else I want to talk to you guys about before we start this? Uh, live streaming. If any of you are curious, there might be a live stream sometime this week. I'm not sure when I'm going to do because it, it is Thanksgiving week. So when Thanksgiving actually comes around later on in the week, I'm probably going to be busy. Uh, so I'll probably be too busy to do something like a live stream. But we'll see if I can fit live streaming into my schedule sometime this week. Again, like I said to you guys, uh, live streaming probably will not return fully until the winter or Christmas break, because that I get off for like a month and a half, so I'll have plenty of time to live stream if I want to. Um, but right now, yeah, there's probably not going to be any live streams. I don't want to say that, though. 
there might be a live stream this week. Just just stay tuned on the channel, guys, and subscribe if you are new to in case, if you're interested in live streams on this channel. Uh, just stay tuned. There may be one later on this week. But guys, guys, I've kept you waiting long enough. This portal is here, and honestly, I'm building up suspense. Let me show you how to actually activate the portal. You need a water bucket. You surround glowstone like the nether portal, except instead of obsidian, you use uh, glowstone instead of a flint and steel. You use a water bucket. But how it works is, of course, you can make the portal any size you want. This is obviously not a normal traditional size for a portal, but it doesn't matter. We chucked the water bucket, didn't go through the portal, but we will. Let's go. Okay, so a little bit of interesting things. Like I did say, I loaded this world in right... Wait, did I just... Oh my gosh, I went into a different area. What? It put me in a different spot. Why? Oh, because I guess because I broke the portal, but... Okay. I assumed I'd disappear in the same spot. I was already ready to explain things where I was. Alright, so... First things first, when you spawn this world, know that this mod is meant to be a, as I call it, like a start over mod. Meaning, when you go through this portal, you're not expected to bring your stuff with you. You're supposed to, like... Come in here honestly completely naked like I am right now, and you're supposed to like uh, go around and act. I am just interested in that thing over there right now. That is new to me, but uh, you're supposed to go to this world and just kind of explore and uh, like build build yourself up because there's all different kinds of armors. There's like the regular like, stone stuff, there's the ores in this world that you can make into armor, and there's dungeons. So, first thing I wanted to point out is the fact there are actually nests in this world now this was not like this in the earlier versions of 1.7 now again i'm not fluent in like these midder midder versions of the aether mod um i just know the 1.7 version so if there's something that has been out for a while and i was unaware because i didn't play it if it was updated to 1.8 or something which i'm pretty sure it wasn't i think it just skipped to 1.11 but again if i'm wrong i do apologize and if you already know this again i do apologize however we got bird nests it's actually called a woven skyroot sticks which uh i'm just curious can you craft it yes you can with just four skyward sticks nice and and these are actually where these birds will spawn they used to just spawn all over the place which it seems they still do but they actually can spawn in nests now with an egg in the center and i'm assuming the egg will actually can actually hatch um but i'm curious if you can tame it or something i'm assuming so but again don't want to assume too much and uh, yeah, again, apologies if this is not the much showcase you guys enjoy where you don't, where you prefer me just going over everything statistically instead of me just kind of adventuring about. But um, I feel like it's more fun this way because this way you're getting my initial reactions to everything and how it may or may not work or everything else. But if you'd like to point anything out in the comments of how stuff actually works, I'd appreciate it. And I'm sure others who would prefer that kind of mod showcase would appreciate it also. Another thing, we got some, uh... We got some grass sprouts right here, uh, Valkyr Valkyrie grass sprouts. There's, I know what these are. These are berry bushes. You can actually right-click them if you're in Surround Mode. I'm not going to go in Surround Mode because these things will kill me. Um, but you can actually right-click them in Surround Mode. You actually get blueberries, which you can kind of snack on as you're adventuring about the world. Ironically enough, this is probably the best food source you're going to find unless you can find a tree that has fruit in it. But I think only one tree will do that. Like, I think these are the trees that will grow into some sort of fruit. Yeah, the orange trees. Um... This right here is actually a amber root tree. Uh, it is not any kind of ore. You cannot mine this stuff for ore. This actually will just turn into, uh, actually, doesn't appear like it will turn into any kind of wood. It's just kind of decoration like that. All right, yeah, this mod does have a lot of decoration blocks also. Another thing is these uh, different sky root um, trees. You can actually, they're the same wood, but I believe the, uh, you can actually get different saplings from them. So you can get green, blue. I just threw my sword away. I did not mean to do that. Sword, come back to me. Um, I think there's also yellow, and I don't know if there's pink, but I do know there's yellow. Yeah, there's yellow ones over there, too. Um, another thing that's interesting is the clouds. Let's talk about the clouds really quick, because the Aether is, like, all islands, and then there's, like, this cloud area where it's nothing but clouds, like, right here. Um, oh, if you're wondering what the thing in the top right-hand corner is, it's, like, a loading thing that they added to this mod where it lets you know whenever, uh... I guess whenever you're loading too many chunks or something in the Aether, it's telling you to, like, stop if it's, like, red or something. Um, but you'll be seeing that periodically. But, yeah, all these different clouds have different abilities. Like, the white cloud, let me see what this one does. This one's kind of like a, kind of, you just kind of sink in it. It's like quicksand, but not really. You kind of just get stuck in the white cloud. You can mine up all these clouds for yourself if you have any sort of purposes for them. Um, I believe this is, like, the speed cloud, the golden Aether cloud. Oh, nope. Does that one you fall right through? Wait a minute. You might fall right through this one. Yeah, you fall right through the uh, golden one. Blue one, I believe, is... Oh, bouncy? Yep. And purple, what do you do? 
Oh, purple just shoots you off in a random direction. I think there's one last one that's like a speed version of the cloud. Or that might just be the ground right here. Here, wait, let me check. This is up. Whale, what are you doing? Um, this right here... Yeah, quick soil. So, like, if you're on this, you will move extremely fast. It, it, it's ridiculous. But, yeah, that's kind of, like, the last element to, like... I, it's not really the clouds, like, the base for the, the dirt and stuff. Um, but, yeah, all the clouds give you different abilities. I'd recommend mining them. I think you can still touch to mine them. But, uh, they will help you out quite a lot in, like, kind of cool setups and stuff. There's actually a bunny right here I want to kill. An air bunny. I apologize, but I just, I just gotta see what he drops. So he drops cloud twine, which can be used for... Okay, so crossbows. You can make crossbows with the bunny hair. Okay. And parachutes. Oh, you can make the different cloud parachutes. Okay. And I assume they would give the same abilities as the cloud. Oh, the green. We didn't find a green one. And a saddle to ride one of the... Oh, so you can tame those things. The uh, birds. I didn't see a green cloud anywhere, so I guess that must be the rarest one. What have we here? We have a carry on sprout okay i believe you were in the, yeah you were in the last mod but they changed your texture a lot um you can get some wind berries with those which i'm assuming you can eat i believe you can also the thing they added was like these different uh rocks and twigs you can pick up on the ground and i'm assuming they actually will drop like the uh the items like you might be able, i think you can get like stone and sticks from them which is pretty cool um there's sheep over here i want to check out next to a uh, interesting bird so the sheep or the kieran actually will drop a uh, kieran loin so you got some you got some meat and you also have the uh, cloud wool wool again used to probably make the bed um we got this th the, the cockatrice it is actually stuck on the, the quick the quick soil right now so which is kind of funny and now you know all mobs are affected by that too but he will drop his cockatrice feathers which is used to make arrows oh bolts so that's for the crossbow okay so ironically, you have to kill the bunnies and the cockatrice to get enough to make the, uh, what's it called? Oh, this is the flower I'm used to, the, the, acher plant, acker plant. Yeah, and he drops acker petals, which can be used to make wrapped chocolates. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, now this thing flying right here. Zephyr. Oh, it's a Zephyr, but this isn't from the Lycanikes version. This is like, it's own, okay, interesting. Uh... Let me just kill it and see if it'll drop anything. No, I don't think it dropped anything, but it's just kind of floating around. That is disturbing. Um, just so you guys know, in terms of adding other mods to this version, to this, uh, adding other mods with this mod, it works. However, from what I recall in the past, I don't know if they fixed this glitch, but all the, like, hostile mobs would always spawn here at an obscene rate. Like, the normal mobs would spawn here, right? But, um... What could I describe it as? Okay, so you guys know the headcrumbs mod where it spawns on all the different humans or whatever? Picture, like, uh, about 200 of them in this area right here, alone. That's kind of what the ex what the rate of spawn was here for hostile mobs from other mods. I, again, I'm assuming they fixed that by now, but I'm just saying expect a lot of unwelcome guests here. Um, here we got a Tagor. Tagor? It's like some sort of pig. Um, yep, it dropped a Tagor leg and Tagor hide. I'm assuming you can cook the food, but... Oh, so this is how you make the armor. This must be, like, the leather armor of this, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and I forgot about the... Here, wait, let me show that really quickly again. I forgot. You can actually make gloves in this. So, like, any armor set you have here, I'll show it over here. Gloves. Oh, no, they changed it. Or is that a different mod I'm thinking of? Because from what I know, you're allowed to make gloves from, like, the vanilla or also but you can actually make gloves from the different um materials that you gather here in the world and you're probably asking yourself can you mine for ore the answer is absolutely yes there's actually ore all underneath here the uh one issue is you of course have to dig for it <laughs> and there's actually a very overpowered item that here wait let me see so archaeum plates you can smelt to get that and then you can use that to make different kinds of oh the cross but you can make a shield with this that's right shields are a thing so they have to have like modded shields too it's so cool and yes, there's another armor set right here for you guys. So that would be like the iron, I'm assuming. Here, wait, let me just type shield. All right, so you actually have different shields. You have a Skyroot, Holy Stone, Xanite, Acrum, and Gravitite. So there you go. That's actually the different tiers for you in this world. You have the Skyroot, which is the, the normal wood. Holy Stone, which is stone. Xanite, which I'm assuming is like the uh, iron. Uh, Acr... Archie... Arcanium, which is the, like, diamond, I'm assuming, and the gra gravitite is, like, the, the strongest you can possibly get, which I'll actually prove that theory right now. So, if I search gravitite, 
the sword should seven attack damage. Okay, so that might be like the and then art. Did I spell this wrong? Arcan? <sighs> Shield. What are you called? Wait. Oh, Arcan. Arcan. So this is like the. Oh, so the Arcan actually has a stronger weapon. Variants. Oh, you actually get shears. That's layers. Yeah, it looks like the. Uh... Okay, so it looks like you're losing out on speed, but the Arcan set is actually better than the. Uh... Gravitite set, but Gravitite is the best from what it's looking. And I haven't even seen Gravitite ore, so I'm assuming, yeah, that is the best. Um, is this, what is this ore? This is Ambrosium ore. I think this is like a useless one or something. Yeah, actually, I'm hitting uses on it. You can't do anything with it right now. Okay, let me search it. Ambrosium. Yeah, you can, you're only meant to make uh, torches with it. So I think how it works is like you break it and it just uh, shatters. You don't smelt it into its thing and you, that's how you make the torches of this world so you actually have to mine the material to make torches which kind of makes sense because that's like the coal but yeah and also i'm noticing there is no green clouds anywhere they must be extremely rare this is another new thing what is this this is like sugarcane i'm assuming no uses but yeah i'm assuming that's like the sugarcane now what happened to that giant elephant i saw i like missed him or something there's another nester oh no that's the nest we were at oh so the elephants are over here oh these aren't elephants these are like moose uh let me just bear 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 kai sure and you can only make a saddle with them so i'm assuming you use that saddle to ride the things all right so they're innocent so they're like the horses confirmed oh look here's another one of the birds they're all different oh this one already had a baby that hatched that's so adorable I'm going to kill one of the parents really quickly because I have to seize it. Wait, did I hit him once and he dropped feathers? Wait. This is really cruel right now, but... Oh, no, I don't know what just happened there, but I got some feathers. Um, And it seems you can actually make, like, different... Yeah, there's the same bolt-tipped arrows or whatever you can get. Um, But here's actually one of the... Is this a dungeon or is this a... Hello, sir. Edison, can I help you? Oh, it's we got, like, quests going for us. Okay, I'm just going to say goodbye to him right now because I don't want to actually talk to him, but this is, there's actually two of them. I don't think there's meant to be two of them, but like, we actually got quests going for us now in this place. That's cool. And this is like his, uh, Skyroot house. That's so amazing that you actually get quests now. I mean, this place always was kind of like a quest driven because you're supposed to take on like the tier dungeons in order, but, uh, that's cool. Is there anything below this? Oh no, it's just like this. Okay, that's pretty amazing. If this guy was in here before, then I apologize, but I really don't think he was. Um, oh yeah, I also meant to say the the achievements, guys, do... There's actually no achievement. What? This place used to have achievements. I guess they took that out, or didn't know how to configure it properly. Okay, fair enough. This is a, uh, beta, like, not a beta version, but it's more like an alpha version of the mod for 1.11. So it's kind of like get it at your own risk. Oh, the sweats. Wait, I know these things. Yeah, you get sweat gel. If you kill them, they're like basically slimes. If you kill them, you actually get their gel, which you can eat. And then we get sweat sugar. Um, ignore the name. I know sweats kind of, uh, kind of sounds weird. As something you would, yeah, I eat, I eat sweat. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, that's, a, that's what it's called. It's actually, I think that's like the best food in the mod. Because I think it does like the same mistake and stuff. But, yeah, interesting. I... Still can't find any green clouds. Actually, wait, this is a different cloud right here. What's this one? You are a storm cloud. Okay, what happens when I sit on you? Oh, so I just kind of sink into you, just like the last one. Or is this the last? I don't know. It's like a storm cloud. That's pretty cool. Clouds don't actually move, though. They kind of just chill. I meant to also say this uh, mod, this, yeah, this mod does have a day-night cycle in its dimensions. So uh, expect that. Also, is this the material I'm looking for? Is this the, uh, Xanite? Yeah, no, that's not what I'm looking for. There's a certain ore that might have to just look it up with the mod itself. They might have taken it out. It was this really overpowered ore that you could get. I'm trying to find it. It was always, like, on the edge of the islands that it would spawn. Oh, is this, uh, this is, yeah, Gravitite. All right. I also believe the Gravitite ore, when you use their tools and stuff, it kind of acts like, uh, a magnet mode sort of thing where it actually attracts the things, the items into your inventory when you when it's in your hand. I'm actually gonna kill this whale. I don't know what that whale does. It and look at that zephyr. Why is it all the way down there? No one's gonna go down there and kill it. We get some butterflies also. All right, I'm just gonna look up the ore 
There's gotta be... If I just search or will come up? No, of course it won't come up. Uh... Here. Here, wait, wait, wait. I know I do this. I'm just gonna look through the page real quick. Give me a second, guys. I need to find this item. They might have taken it out, but I swear it was in this, this mod. I might be going crazy, but... Wait, you can actually... What? Wait, what? End portal frame? What? Uh... Why does the Aether have the ability to spawn in the portals of the other dimensions? What the heck? <laughs> that's so random. Why is that a thing? Um, that's pretty funny. Now wait. Oh, uh, where is this thing? Candy cane. Nice. Is that chocolate? No. I thought it was chocolate. <laughs> no. They must have taken it out or something. Guys, if you know what I'm talking about in the comments, please let me know if I'm going insane or not. Oh, there's the eighth portal. But uh, I swear that there was a, an ore you can mine up. And it was kind of like um, like you, you threw it on the ground and right clicked and it would give you a random item from the mod. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, please. But I swear this was in this mod. Because I remember it, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's bothering me now that I don't know about that. But guys, this is actually going to conclude the mod showcase. I do Trying to see if I can find another dungeon, but that's the same one we just were at. No, I think we just went a huge circle. Yeah, no, there are other dungeons that spawn here, but from what I know, they are kind of rare. They're not like your traditional, like, oh, you just find... Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to get the green cloud really quickly, see what it does. So if I place, like, these clouds down and kind of make, like, a, a cloud, nice cloud, uh, what does this do? Oh, so it shoots you off also. Okay, fair enough. Um, but guys... I'm going to wrap up today's mod showcase as Steve with a butterfly hanging over my head. Hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, definitely click that like button to show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and want to see more modded Minecraft content throughout the week. Feel free to subscribe. And uh, I say subscribe twice. Oh, wow. That's... Um, and also the download first mod will be linked in the description if you guys want to download it for yourself and check it out and explore some of the things that I did not cover as lengthily as you would have liked. Again, I do apologize for that, but like with bigger mods like this, I do like doing it this style. This way, um, I can actually kind of just bear with it because there is a lot of things in this mod. It's a pretty big mod. Um, it's actually, its file size is actually bigger than Orspawn, believe it or not. Uh, but I don't know what that exactly says about it. But, yeah, it's good. Yeah, guys, I guess I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.